Would you like a cup of coffee? You're new here, aren't you? Another piece of that ass. What do you say, cupcake? What were you doing in Jamal Warren's apartment last night? Yo, lady, how many times do I gotta say it? I ain't talking without a lawyer. All right, fine. But listen, Gregory. It's icebox. You shouldn't have anything to worry about if you're innocent. We could work something out. You could be out of here in an hour. Well, well, well. If it isn't the great icebox, the coolest, hardest, slyest drug dealer slash addict in all of Brooklyn. Let me guess, wrong place at the wrong time, right? Is that right? You just happened to be at Jamal Warren's apartment the night he was murdered? Yo, I wasn't there. Don't bullshit us. We got prints all over that apartment. We got at least two eyewitnesses that say they saw you leave late that night. Your little paper thin alibi has it checked out with all your little druggy friends. They're not saying a word, Greg. They're bailing on you. My apologies for being late. Good morning, detectives. Mr. Reardon. You weren't questioning my client without me present, were you? Hmm? If you don't mind, I'd like a moment to discuss with Mr. Reardon privately. What have you told him? Go ahead, it's set in. Well, just keep your mouth shut. Let me do all the talking, since you clearly can't stay out of trouble for too long. Detectives, uh, am I right in assuming you're holding my client under the suspicion of the murder of Jamal Warren? Suspicion? There's no suspicion about it. His prints are all over that apartment. We also believe he has motive. Mr. Reardon and Mr. Warren were seen arguing outside of the PJ's Brown Grill around 10.30 last night. Mr. Icybox here says he was with his homeboys last night, but his homeboys haven't been very supportive of that theory. Must have pissed off one too many customers, right? Son of a... Mr. Reardon, please. Detectives, my client and Mr. Warren were friends. Friends argue all the time. And as for the prince in the apartment, I'm sure that Mr. Reardon here wouldn't deny that he's been there a time or two before. The prints were around Mr. Warren's neck. CSI reported they were less than six hours old. What are they talking about? Have you told me everything? All right. Here's what happened. Yeah, we argued. Yeah, I was up there. But I didn't kill him, I swear. Bullshit, I told you about lying. I swear, man. I went up there to smooth things over after we argued, and then when I got up there, he was already dead. I put my fingers on his neck to check his pulse, and that must be the fingerprints. I swear to God. What were you and Jamal arguing about, Greg? I suggest you tell them your fingerprints are on the body, meaning it's your only option, idiot. Jamal was pissed because well, he didn't like the price I was charging. For what? Blowjobs? For ice, you asshole. Jamal said that since we're friends, I should give him a discount or whatever. And I said no, and he got bitchy and he left. And I went back to his apartment to smooth things over. And when I got there, you know. The autopsy reports that the marks around Mr. Warren's neck were indicative of strangulation. Yo, I don't know how to do CPR or any of that bullshit. I put my fingers on his neck to see if he was alive, and when I didn't feel anything, I don't know. Maybe I squeezed too hard? Unbelievable. Unfucking believable. That's the best you got? That's the best story you got? Get out of my sight. Both of you. You know I don't take orders from cops, Skillet. I do, however, require further consultation with my client here. Call me when you hear anything, Mr. Reardon. Icebox, Captain. Yes, Captain. Why don't you tell me that you're going to I didn't think it was Well, so maybe I'll What do you want me to do? What do you think, John? I hate to say it, but I don't think he did it.